Hello everybody and welcome back to the channel that is your friendly neighborhood NPC. <laughs> hey guys, it's Raznak here. We are back on Hoff Bergman, just uh, waking up for the day. Uh, I like this place, the only problem is they have communal bathrooms. And let's just say there's a guy named Philippe who uh, doesn't understand the concept of courtesy flushing uh, and airing out the bathroom before other people use it. So... Um, I'm going to have to get used to that. I don't like being in such close quarters. Pretty much I have a bed and uh, a dresser, and that's about it. It's a it's a tiny room, and I have to share a bathroom. It's not fun at all. I, I, don't, I don't enjoy it one bit. Let's jump on our handy-dandy little bike here. Yeah, we'll make our way down to the shop. Hopefully it's open by now. I think it opens at 8 back to work. Thank you all so much for the comments in the first video. I really, really do appreciate it. Thank you very, very much. Now, according to the first comments, uh, two of the questions we had to answer, what were my living expenses? And most people said 500, and some people said 600, another person said 1,000. So what I did is I took all the comments, I averaged them, and we came up with an average living expenses per month of $600. So that's what we're going to be paying. We're going to be paying $600 as long as I live in that house down there. If we move, we'll have to change our living expenses. But for the little room and food and other things of that nature, it's $600. I have to be careful going over that bump. Speed up. Speed up, NPC. Get moving. Pedaling as fast as I can, he says. All right, I'm going to be talking to myself a lot. Now, also... Before we jump in here and pick up our next contract, I have this handy dandy little device that shows our current um, profit, loss, income versus expenses. I have it pulled up here on the screen. And as you can see, day one, I did contracts worth $4,503. But, but you just don't make money and not have to pay somebody. So, you pay taxes. Now, I went ahead and did a 25% tax rate. I don't know what it is in Germany. I'm going to do some more research. Uh, this map is set in Germany, so I'll try to do it to that. But I'm going to do a little research into that. But I'm going to go ahead and do automatic withdrawals or automatic income tax payments from my paychecks of 25% at the end of the year based upon how much money we make. I'll do my taxes, simple form, of course. And then I'll figure out how much money in taxes we owe. So 11.26. So that's what we're at right now. Uh, you can watch the sheet live as I play. I'll be updating this even if it's outside of recording because I am going to be playing uh, the map without recording sometimes. Otherwise, uh, there's going to be 400 episodes and I'll still only have $100,000. At this rate, it's going to take me forever to get any amount of money <laughs> to do other stuff. So I'm going to have to do some of the work off camera. But that's okay. I'll be hanging out with Mr. NPC and we'll be okay. One of the other rules I went ahead and put into effect is I can't work 24 hours straight. Why? Because he's got to sleep. You know, our little character buddy, he has to sleep. Um, so I think I'm going to only do 12 hour work days. Um, sometimes a little bit more will just depend. And if I work too much, maybe it'll have a bad effect. On Mr. NPC, we'll have to figure out. I'm trying to figure out ways to make this a little more interactive and a little more random and role play. I'm gonna probably institute some rolls, but instead of me rolling the dice, I'm gonna select viewers to roll the dice, and uh, those will have random effects. But uh, that's pretty much it. That's pretty much it today. Everyone said, well, not everybody. There are a couple people said cultivating, but most people said to go ahead and do a plowing contract. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to go in here and say hello to Joyce. I, m I learned her name yesterday. Hi, Joyce. Hello. Hello. What kind of contracts do you have today? Let's see, we got field five. There's sewing contracts. Maybe. Maybe we can get into sewing contracts. We'll see. Maybe in the next episode. All right, field five. I don't want to do a massive field, but seven plowing. Ugh. 
get into that, I'll start making mistakes. Three. Ten. That's a big field. Take for field four. The Massey in this pile. I'm telling you what, we're gonna we're gonna keep it simple. Go ahead and borrow those up. Thanks, Joyce. Met Joyce. Henrietta, she runs the the house. The the place where I'm staying. She rents the rooms. She makes a wonderful breakfast too. There's tea out. I'd like coffee. Isn't any coffee. She's a tea drinker. Fire up our tractor here. I know the tools reserved contract work. Like I'm gonna plow the parking lot or something. <laughs> Sometimes. Right. So what field were we going to again? Field five, which I believe is right next to this beautiful farm that's for sale. It's been empty for years. This beautiful farm, it is for sale. Dive over here to it. See what's going on. The area is beautiful. I've been I've been kind of putting my feelers out for other work. Maybe here at the horse stables or the orchards. There's a pig farm that may need a hand here and there. I'm hoping to find some other work other than what Joyce offers. We'll we'll see. Let's see. Now. Everybody watching this right now, they know I'm playing with a keyboard. That's going to change. I just keep forgetting to hook it up. It's, it's really my fault. And uh, I need to hook up, not my keyboard, my steering wheel. That's what I need to do. I need to hook up my wheel. And I just keep forgetting to do so. I played with keyboard and mouse for so long. I just, I'm not used to uh, playing with, uh, with the steering wheel. Sorry, forgot my words. All right, let's come down here. Make sure this is the field we're working in. Almost positive this is it. Field five. And we're going to really find out. I guess I can go ahead and turn on. Let's go ahead and swap sides here. see how good I am at this. Now I did, uh, if you if you pay attention to the channel, I did do a, uh, what was a Raznak at Night episode, where I did some contract work to time lapse. So I have gotten the hand of plowing just a little. Go! I just hope this tractor doesn't have any trouble on this hill. Because you got to remember, these contracts are designed with base game mechanics involved, and not the um, not the add-on stuff. But it looks like we're going to be okay. We'll just be we'll be just fine. So we'll be okay. I hope everybody is doing well. And so far, I hope you enjoyed the concept of the series. Like I said, I'll be role playing just a little bit. It's going to be a role play, let's play, start from nothing, just kind of a catch-all series. Keep up with the story of NPC. I'll come up with little things for him here and there. Will be plenty of work. And more importantly, your interaction will kind of drive the way this goes. Be in control of Mr. NPC. So I hope you find that enjoyable. Really do. Not much traffic on the road here. Wish there were more cars about. I swear in the first release of this map there was there was traffic. 
could almost be positive there was traffic. Try something just real quick. Turn it off and on. Just kind of turn it on and off real quick. See? I swear there was traffic, so... I'm just losing my mind. Now, if you're doing this in cab, if you don't know, and I didn't know, just kind of put your first little tire here in the root. Previous plow mark. I don't even know what they call it. Furrow, furrow or whatever they call it. You go to work. Yo boy. We're a plowing away. Plowing away. So what I'm going to do is... Uh, Oh, slipping a little here at the top of the hill. She's getting a little she's a little soft up here. Slipping just slipping a little. <laughs> so what I'm gonna do is I'll time lapse the plowing footage. Why? Because I don't feel the need to torture you for the next um however long this is gonna take me. It's gonna take me a little while. Yeah, this will take some time. So, I'll keep track of that. It is 8.16 right now. Clock is set to 5x. And we'll see how long this takes us. Enjoy the footage! Well, that is that. This job is going under the completed category. It took, uh, <laughs> well, it's uh, five hours in game. It took five hours in game, which is a uh, 5x speed, so about an hour. About an hour in real life. That's what it took. All right. Let's head on back to the dealer. Talk to Joyce and get our paycheck. That job. And then see what's next for us. See, see what we're going to get into next. I wonder. Is that, that doesn't look like normal grass. What's that? Is that alfalfa? That is alfalfa. I think that's alfalfa. Oh, that's clover. Ooh. Clover and rye. I forgot. We have two different crop types. Nice. I like it. It's cool. Just like the different textures. It's very nicely done. Seeing all the worlds I've been in, that just hasn't been there. Right. So, it's going to take us some time to make some money. That's the whole point of this, this experiment. 
I'm just really trying to challenge myself and uh, slowly explore the map, slowly enjoy the map. I know it doesn't suit some people's playstyles, and that's okay. We all have different playstyles, and there's nothing wrong with that. To each their own. But for me, I wanted to try something different. I wanted to try a different way of playing it. And uh, the longer I play the game, the smaller and smaller my equipment gets. It's my bicycle. see what Joyce has to say here about getting a paycheck. Well, that, that job took a little while. Completed $2,288. Nice work. So we have some sewing contracts. We're going to do those in the next episode. That's what we'll be doing the next episodes. We'll go ahead and start up some sewing contracts. I'm, I'm going to work on these cultivating and plowing contracts uh, later on. But before we do that, I wanted to talk about kind of the future. I've been scouting, been out riding the bike, and I've uh, come across a couple areas for sale. The cheapest plot of land in the area is this little, there's a little lot across from, uh, across from um, the, the big farm that's for sale. And it's only $22,744. Now, there's not a whole lot of room there, but there are some storage buildings. And um, I could always live there. I could always put a cot and some other things in the back. In fact, I tell you what, let me, let me jump in the bike. And uh, I'll pedal over there. It's good for me. It's good exercise. All right, I'll pedal that way. See you in just a minute. I bet you guys didn't believe that I would ride my bike all the way over here. I did. There is no cheating allowed. No cheating allowed. So this is the lot that I was speaking of that is for sale. Um, actually, it's this one. Sorry. It's It should be, or is it, no, I was right. Yep, it's this lot. It's this lot right here. So again, it's only 22000 um, we could do some some stuff here. We could make this work. We could uh, and we could run a little bit of contracting work out of this yard. We could do some beekeeping. We could uh, do some other stuff. I mean, there's some different options available. Um, we could get into well, we won't have anywhere to mow grass. Uh, like I said, we can put in some beehives. They're not very expensive. And that's actually a pretty pretty cheap way to get started. And then we could also um, put in a juice master right here. We can make juice. Um, I guess we can mix. No, there's no money in the fertilizer. You have the wood chips bag. I mean, we could put a uh, we could put a like a wood chipper here, and then go from there. Um, there's just all different kinds of stuff that we could do if we wanted to. It's just, uh, I'm, I'm really thinking that beekeeping may be the best thing to start on a very, very low end budget. I mean, cause the beekeeping, we actually, we, if, if we had this property, we could start beekeeping right now, but that's kind of our options. Our other option would be, um, I don't think there's really a cheap enough forested area for us to log. I mean, we could get this little this orchard up here. There is an orchard that's up here. It's thirty-four thousand dollars. We could buy that and uh, get into the orchard business. But just not like I said. There's not tons. This lot over here is twenty-seven thousand. There's not tons of work for us to do um, without getting money to purchase some land. This forested area is 58,000. It's not too bad. This one's 143,000. I also think that wood chips and logging would be a pretty good deal. The sheep, 
pen up here, 61,000. And then the goats right here, I think this is goats and sheep at 72,000. BGA is outpriced. And then if we wanted like one of the grass fields to do hay work, we're, we're talking big money too. So field eight's 82,000. But I really think this would probably be our best way to start is 22,744. We'll do beekeeping and then build up contractor yard. Um, I think a, a good way to start would be a really old tractor and some basic fertilizing equipment because fertilizing contracts pay pretty well. And we'll, we'll be talking about that in a later episode. So let me know what you think. Um, I'm not going to put that up for a vote yet. We will when we get there. I really can't wait to buy this. The old Hoff Bergman. It's been empty for a while. It's been, it has all kinds of, there's just so much money to be made from that place. I've heard tales of its greatness. Maybe one day we'll be there. Just have to wait and see. Have to wait and see. But yeah, that's it for this episode. Short, sweet. Hope you enjoyed it. Thank you guys for tuning in. I really do appreciate it. Nothing really to vote on this week. I'm going to continue on with contracts. Next week we'll be doing some sewing contracts. Eventually I'm going to put some... Uh, once we get to buying equipment, I'm going to put up some mod suggestions and let you guys vote on kind of our starting tractors. Play in the mud in my bike. And then, uh, then go from there. I said here's a little... This is a little goat farm we could buy if we wanted to. That may be something we get into eventually. All different kinds of options. It is going to be a slow start, but I'm looking forward to it. All right, everybody, take care. Thanks for watching. Until next time, stay safe. See you later. Bye. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I got the rent. I got the rent. Unlock the door, please. Thank you.